So I found Fabio and JD and another guy named D Sav. And I gave five thousand to each person coming out to a total of twenty bands. The guy who received the money for them, he ran he ran off with the money. So I'm from Harlem. I'm not gonna let somebody take twenty and Fabio didn't take the twenty. JD didn't take the 20. D. Sav didn't take the 20. The guy who was supposed to be managing them as a group, he ran off with the money. So then that put a weird situation between us because I'm not going to give you another 20. Are you guys understanding that? So after I do not give a new 20, that's going to put some kind of situation between us. But we were kind of cool after that. But what continued to happen, for some reason, they couldn't make flights. They couldn't come to shows that I would book for them at a festival. So after the money running off, running out, and then they didn't show up to the shows, I did what I was supposed to do, fall back on this. Why? Because I'm putting money out here for my family, and I'm using my connections and my resources to, to book shows but they weren't showing up. Now, I love Fabio. I love JD. I love D. Sav. I, I, and, and D. Sav, he know that's my heart. And I would look out for him. I'm not in no gang. I'm not about no gang activity. But from a love of a brother, my heart, even today, is to help, to help them in any way I can. So I'm not going to hold any of them in any type of any type of paperwork if we if we didn't already do anything if we don't have no business already going then it's nothing to hold on to so i'm not that type of person but to keep going and make it clear i signed fabio my paperwork was honest my paperwork was clean it wasn't a 360 i never took any of his publishing my paperwork doesn't say anything of his publishing I don't know where y'all got that from. So you got to go back to who you heard that from and and now look at that because that's not in my paperwork. How much money did I give him? I gave him $5,000. Why you only gave him five? No, I actually gave out 20. He just received five of that 20. Why did he only receive five of that 20? Because at the time of him being signed, none of, none of you knew of him. None of you knew of him. He was doing drill music, and I knew he would be special. I knew JD would be special. I knew D. Sav and him, if they worked together, they would be special. I go up to the label. I say, I want to call. They said, what's the name of this group? The group name was Demons. They said, we can't sign nobody named Demon, and the album is going to be Demon Time. They told me we can't do that. Now I hear the whole city screaming demon time. Think about this now. So I go and talk to my advisors. I go and talk to the people I know. And they say, you know what? You can't sign them guys. Why? Because they're going to end up in jail, this and that. And we was all at the table. They're like, Maze, please, man, please. I said, I'm going to do it. But y'all got to keep y'all word that y'all going to stay out the streets. And again, I'm just telling you what happened because I don't like people saying stuff about me without it being made true. Since then, we've been good. We never really had no issues and we never will have no issues. So I'm not saying this like putting them down. I think all of them are amazing. So moving along. After we go in the, the record labels, they tell us no for Fabio. They told us no. They told us no for JD. They told us no for DSAP. I said, okay. I got to figure out what we can do. So I had to take time to get my mind around it. Yes, it was months that went by. He goes, he said, yo, he's coming periodically every blue moon to Atlanta to record. And he comes up with this, this creative bounce. 
but I can't say that I didn't, I didn't, I played no part in it. The whole idea of A came from me. Because every time they would think I was lying, I would be like, hey, they'll ask me something I didn't want to answer. And I go, hey, ask JD, ask anybody. So I can't take credit for his success, though. No, but I can take credit that I signed them. And I can take credit that when the deal came, when I went up to what was that Def Jam and I spoke to the people of Def Jam and they were interested in Favi by as a solo artist that he went out there and did his thing as he's supposed to as an artist. And when the deal came back around, they said, we're going to give you a certain number. When I come to the office and when I make a call. The money triples. In fact, we ended up doing five times more than that first interview and and an audition for Def Jam because I was involved. And I still did not treat him like just a rapper. So when they said, Mace, you're going to have to sign off on this. I said, before I can sign off on this. I want him, he asked me, him and Bless, yo, Favi just want this part of his contract back. I said, cool, take it. I was only holding it so that we would have leverage so we can do business like we supposed to instead of me doing business like what they would have known before getting into the business. Put me on a lie detector test and see if I pass. That was my only purpose for holding it. And the per the part that I had was like a management fee. It was not no, it was not no publishing. <laughs> and when he began to go out and do things, I didn't even want his show money. I gave him a hundred percent of it back. A hundred percent. A hundred percent with no money down. At the closing table, and when they gave us, I came to him and said, I will split it 100% right down the middle. And that's what my paperwork say. That's what my paperwork say. That's what Sony paperwork say or Columbia paperwork say. And what people are really mad about. I ended up with the masters and they don't normally give masters to new artists. And that's why they were mad. Now what now think of that. And to this day, <laughs> me and Favi don't have no issues. People just keep trying to make an issue between me and Favi. And, and try to put us against each other because their biggest fear is Mace spearheading the new generation. That's their biggest fear because I'll tell them about all the lies and all the games that people run on them and all these old rappers trying to use their energy. They know I'll say something about that. They know I'll say instead of getting on a record with him and letting him use you, get a record for yourself. My heart is for the artists. So they tell people, stay, they don't tell everybody because it don't work. A smart person can figure it out. So that's where we are, and I'm gone. Everybody, look in the link in the bio, Oracle 2. And tell everybody to chill out. 
<laughs> One lady said he sound like he must be high. No, I'm just fed up. I get tired of people asking folks questions in a way that they can downplay my name. It's like the question get asked in a way that an artist can downplay my name. So the artist got to get smarter and stop falling for it. Every time they go to a, a interview, somebody say, hey, what do you think about Mace? You should be smart enough to say you're lit enough that you shouldn't have to talk about Mace. <laughs> Somebody said, did you backslide? No, I, nah, I ain't backslide. You just not a used of Christians with power. You're used to weak Christians. You're used to Christians that you can you can play down and talk crazy to. You're not used to these type of Christians. So I understand you got the wrong idea. The God I serve is not a weak God. And yes, I'm still pastoring. Actually, I have two churches and I'm not cussing. I'm just speaking the truth with passion. You're used to seeing broke Christians. So it does sound crazy for you because you're used to people being poor and going to church. It would look weird if I wore all the jewelry I got to church. They say, oh, look at that. When realistically, that's why that's what God has been asking me. He's been asking me to be myself. Be yourself. Two churches. Be yourself, though. When God called me, and this is another thing y'all have to get through your mind. I'm not a church boy trying to rap. I'm a guy from Harlem, New York that went to church. So if you keep looking at me like some wimpy church person, that's what keeps bothering you in your thinking because you're looking at me wrong. I didn't grow up in... Kojic or Church of God in Christ, which is the same thing, or the Baptist church, and now I'm trying to do this. No, this is how you met me. And the churches are in Atlanta. I'm not doing wrong as long as I'm telling the truth. I'm not doing wrong. And even some people think I'm trying to rap hard. No. My life has been hard. So when I start telling you my pain, you're looking at it like I'm trying to rap street. No, I've been going through street stuff, even though I've been going to church. And don't forget, I left after the first album. So this ain't a new understanding. We're just back at the first place. And people try to get on him and be like, oh, yeah, I was a fan of Mace. Oh, now I'm not a fan of Mace. Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? I'm just saying, who cares? I'm not here for fans. You, do you think I'm really here for fans? Are you serious? Who cares? I'm not here for fans. I'm not here for streams. Or I would have did this on YouTube. I'm not here for streams. I keep doing stuff in a, in a free way so you can see this ain't about no money. Who cares about this? This is about the truth. And, and having my legacy right. And have you not looking at me like some little kid that just went left. 
I thought you were a pastor. I am a pastor. That's your point. And next person that say I thought you was a pastor, you're going to. Because that just means you're ignorant. You're ignorant. You used to preachers that need your money, so they have to tell you what they what you want to hear. I don't have to tell you what you want to hear, because I don't need your money. I've been chilling for twenty five years. I'm I'm okay with having having this conversation. I don't need your money, so I'm going to act different than a pastor who needs your money. A pastor who needs your money got to talk to you a certain way. He got to tell you all these lies. He got to help you believe that what's not true is true so he can keep control over you. I'm not trying to control you. I'm trying to give you the truth and see what you become. Not gonna promise you no husband to get no hundred dollars out of you. <laughs> I'm not gonna promise you no good life to get a thousand dollars out of your pocket. They said, Am I friends with anybody at Rock Nation? I know a lot of people at Rock Nation. I would think I'm cool with a lot of people at Rock Nation. One person, yeah, I'm going to answer that. One person said, not a pastor. I don't know what you meant to say, but say it over with correct English and I'll answer it. It says, not a pastor lives my the word. And can a per does a pastor live by the word? Is that what you're saying? Not a pastor lives by the word? I could answer that for you. Oh, no, she said, oh, I think you're past this. I am past this. I I am past this. I am past this. And after my voice is heard, I will not be on it again. But for those that haven't heard, maybe you did hear. And maybe others have not heard. So I can only go by what my experiences are. I can't go by what your experiences are. I have to go by what my experiences are. And to the person that says you're you um you're slandering um Sean Combs. No. I'm desiring to be a hundred percent free. Don't ask me to do another thing to get another thing. So I appreciate your fandom and you being so, so, so bad boy driven. I appreciate that, but that's not actually the truth. So I wish there was a way to say it a better way, but it's, this is what it is. It's horrible. It's like trying to find a good way to talk about how somebody has done things and it ain't a good way. Somebody said they're artists, bad boy artists, in the same way every time. No, not necessarily, sweetheart. I'm rich. So I ain't saying this out of bitterness. I'm rich. And if you don't think so, my account say so. My spirit says so. So every artist ain't in the same way. And I'm not going to die from this.
And instead of y'all asking me these questions, I wish y'all would start asking him those questions. Those lyrics were clear. If everybody's, if everybody in your clique is poor, then you got to blame the visionaire. That's clear. 